1963, Birmingham, Alabama. Civil rights demonstrations in the U.S. South turn violent. President John Kennedy calls the situation a moral crisis. This is not a sectional issue. Difficulties over segregation and discrimination exist in every city, in every state of the Union, producing in many cities a rising tide of discontent that threatens the public safety. President Kennedy meets civil rights leader Martin Luther King to discuss ending the demonstrations. The meeting is arranged by Kennedy advisor Harris Walford. King deliberately said part of what nonviolent direct action does is it creates a crisis that people in power, whether it's government or a corporation or others, um, they have to listen to. President Kennedy responds in a nationally televised address. But in too many communities, in too many parts of the country, wrongs are inflicted on Negro citizens and there are no remedies at law. Unless the Congress acts, their only remedy is the street. I am therefore asking the Congress to enact legislation, giving all Americans the right to be served in facilities which are open to the public. The Civil Rights Act outlaws racial segregation in schools, the workplace, and at public accommodations such as restaurants. The legislation faces strong opposition from mostly white Southern lawmakers who tried to block its passage. Harris Walford says the ongoing demonstrations and President Kennedy's assassination created the conditions for passing the Civil Rights Act. I don't think it would necessarily have passed if uh, he hadn't been killed and a wave of, uh, of sympathy and understanding uh, swept the majority of the people in the United States. July 1964, President Lyndon Johnson signs the Civil Rights Act into law. Former Congressman Ron Dellum says it is a crowning achievement for so many African Americans. The Civil Rights Act was a very significant uh, event in American history. I maintain it was a time when the people in this country actually bent the political process to their will. Five decades later, Jack Jones reaps the benefits of the anti-discrimination laws. He grew up in the segregated South and was denied opportunities, but went on to run a small nationwide company. Absolutely no doubt that the Civil Rights Act changed America. It changed for all of us. It changed mostly for us, the black people, but it also made, set out to make this country a better country. Activists say the support of so many who demonstrated for freedom and justice in the 1960s helped make the Civil Rights Act a reality and a cornerstone of racial justice. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.